in this video we'll illustrate how to carry out a uh, lateral rectus resection both on a simulated eye and also demonstrating some clips of live surgery. Here we're showing a left lateral rectus uh, section, a five millimeter section just being measured. There are many different ways, of course, of carrying out a resection muscle uh, suturing. And in this particular case, we're illustrating an interrupted suture technique. Many surgeons prefer using a continuous suture technique, which of course can also be practiced using these eyes. Once again, familiarity with the feel of the needle passing through the muscle and the opportunity to practice secure knot tying is essential for developing a good surgical results in the future. A bulldog clip is just going to be placed here to secure the ends of this suture. Second suture is just being placed now. Of course, we can't mimic the effect of uh, the muscles uh, bleeding, and there's no need to cauterize uh, these muscles. But discussion about the role of cautery in both recession and resection techniques uh, is obviously important in preparation for live surgery. When it comes to uh, removing uh, the muscle from the, the globe, if you uh, pull on the lateral rectus at this point, just as you're dissecting it, you can reproduce that realistic posterior movement of the lateral rectus when it is disinserted. As in real surgery, uh, the rectus muscle stump is removed and we spent a little bit of time here just removing the extraneous glue from the original insertion site. And this will enhance the uh, realism of the reattachment uh, process. You can see there's quite a large blob of glue being removed. This is a live surgical clip of a left lateral rectus resection. Having uh, hooked the muscle and cleaned the tenons capsule from the lateral rectus tendon, placing a chevas squint hook to spread the muscle. We're marking five millimeters posterior from the insertion with some gentle cautery, and then using interrupted sixovicral. Here, the first pass is made through the upper third of the muscle, coming out through the edge of the muscle with the first pass, regrasping the needle, and then passing full thickness with the second pass. Again, note how the suture is slung around the body, not the tip of the needle, to make it easier to regrasp the needle as it emerges from the muscle. A double throw and then single throws to secure the suture along this superior border. Reverse mounted needle passing through the lower third, emerging through the edge of the muscle, twisting one's wrist around to grasp the needle, and then holding the suture short so it can be passed underneath the body of the needle to make it point up towards the needle holders. Some surgeons prefer to put one or both sutures on a bulldog clip. Then a little bit of gentle cautery is performed and Westcott scissors used to disinsert the muscle, making sure to cut the muscle a millimetre or so anterior to the sutures. 
lifting up the remnant of the muscle, trimming it flush with the sclera and applying some gentle cautery. Here we can see the lateral rectus being uh, reattached to the globe, having undergone a five millimeter resection. The inferior pole of the muscle is reattached to the inferior edge of the original insertion. Again, a nice deep scleral pass is, is made before pulling the muscle up to its correct position. The realism of this manoeuvre can be enhanced by just placing a little bit of gentle traction on the lateral rectus to mimic the posterior movement uh, of the, the muscle that one would find after a resection procedure. Now the uh, superior pole of the muscle is reattached to the sclera. Again, we emphasize the importance of a good spread of the muscle to prevent any muscle sag. The muscle sag is very difficult to simulate with the, the model eyes, but the principle of spreading the muscle along the original insertion is an important one, which will stand the trainee in good stead when they transfer to, to live surgery. Again, secure suturing technique to make sure there's no slippage of the muscle from its intended position. And again, a little bit of gentle traction on the, the lateral rectus or the medial rectus if you're operating uh, on that can enhance the realism of the simulation. Finally, the suture is just being trimmed at a safe length from the knot. And finally, some live footage of the same lateral rectus being reattached. So holding the inferior pole of the muscle with St. Martin's, passing the needle through the sclera, not through the remnants of the muscle, which would lead to an insecure reattachment of the muscle. Our assistant holding the conjunctiva and tenon side of the way, a double throw on the needle holder, pulling the muscle up to the insertion and sliding the suture down to secure the muscle against the original insertion. A swift passage of a second throw and a third one to secure the muscle in its position and to prevent any slippage. Cutting the suture two millimeters or so from the insertion, again holding the muscle right at the superior margin of the original insertion, placing the suture through at this point, a nice scleral bite and reattaching the muscle. You can see how it's beautifully spread here. So it's now reattached along its length, uh, directly opposed to the original position of the lateral rectus. And cutting the sutures two millimeters from the knot and displaying the muscle nicely spread. These live surgical videos have been taken from the publication Strabismus Surgery, which Peter Davis and I co-authored in 2007. But the videos are in their original HD format which wasn't available with the original DVD that accompanied this book.